So what is fundamental analysis? Well, when an investor goes to the uh, share market to buy a particular share, he pays a certain price for that share, right? Now, have you ever wondered what are the factors which basically influence the price of the share in the share market? Well, broadly, the factors which influence the price of a share in the share market can be classified into three categories. They are sentiments. Sentiments affect uh, the price of a share in the share market. So if uh, the sentiment is optimistic, more likely uh, there's going to be an appreciation of the prices uh, of shares in a share market. The second is liquidity. Uh, I won't be going into the details of this because I'll be covering this in future lectures. But liquidity is an important factor which also drives uh, the price or influences the price of shares in a share market. But above all, the most important factor which influences the price of a share in the share market is the fundamentals of the company. Okay. Now, fundamental analysis is nothing but a study of these fundamental factors which influence the price of a company. So, when you, if you take any company and if you want to understand uh, the principles or if you want to understand uh, or analyze the company and to try and come up with the intrinsic value of the company, fundamental analysis will try and look at this company from several perspectives. Fundamental analysis will try and understand uh, the business model of the company. Fundamental ana analysis will also try and understand the industry in which the company is operating, uh, the competition that the company faces and how uh, in a competitive it has to be to keep its position in the market. Uh, fundamental analysis will also try and understand uh, the management of the company and how efficient or how strategic the management is and how efficiently it can execute the plans that it sets for the company. Fundamental analysis will also try and understand, look at the financial statements of the company and will see the profits the company is doing, the assets that the company has uh, under itself. Finally, the, the fundamental analysis will also look at the economy and understand the economic circumstances within which the company is operating and what are the prospects of the company uh, in the economy in which, is, uh, which it is operating. But central, central to all these factors which fundamental analysis is trying to analyze is the value of the company. That is what fundamental analysis is trying to get at. That's what it's trying to figure. Now, what are the goals of fundamental analysis? Well, the goals of fundamental analysis are it wants to look at uh, uh, the, the revenue and the profits of the company. It wants to, uh, you know, try and answer the question whether it can be able to maintain the revenues and the profits uh, that the company is making at any point of time. Fundamental analysis also tries to answer questions like whether the company will be able to pay off its debt. Uh, is there a chance that the company might fall into some difficulty in paying off to its lenders and hence uh, you know, in the remote uh, future might even have to sometimes declare bankruptcy? Is there any chance of the company doing that? Uh, you know, fundamental analysis also tries and looks into uh, the management of the company and tries to uh, give an assessment of what it thinks about uh, the management structure and the management style. So these are basically the goals of fundamental analysis. But as I said, central to fundamental analysis is determining the value of the company based on these factors that you see. Now, equity research and fundamental analysis are two terms that are sometimes used interchangeably. They most they almost mean the same thing but the only small technical difference that could be said exist between fundamental analysis and equity research is that equity research is more it drives investment decisions so when somebody is doing equity research he's doing it for uh, investment decisions he either wants to uh, you know, buy the company or sell the shares buy the shares of the company or sell the shares of the company how does one do it via the process of equity research? Well, one tries to find, using this fundamental analysis, the intrinsic or inherent value of the company, and then 
after it determines the inherent or intrinsic value of the company, it looks at the share price at the sh in the share market. If the shares are trading below the intrinsic value of the company, that means the shares are undervalued. And that in that case, the investment decision would be to buy the shares of the company because the market is undervaluing the price of the shares. The analysis has determined that the price or the value of the company is higher. And in that case, the investor should go and buy the shares. In the opposite case, if the market is the price of the share in the share market is higher than the intrinsic value that is determined by this process in that case the investor will see that the value of the shares uh, in the share that the price of the shares in the share market is overvalued and in that case he would go and sell the shares of the company this is basically the uh, the basic the, the crux of fundamental analysis okay uh, I will catch up with you in future videos till then goodbye